This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas video. I got some good tips for you today, so let's get to it. So the first tip I have for you today is in the skills tree. If you come over here to the bows and you unlock the bows and you scroll down a little bit, you will see the perk for the strong arm. Now you may think that this only affects bows because it says not guns, but that is not the case. It actually affects pretty much anything you throw. So if you take a look here, I have the perk and I'm going to throw this throwing knife at the training dummy and look at that. 65 damage if I swap over to the spear and I hold that all the way back get the maximum draw on at 81 now I'm joined today by one of my amazing supporters Marine and she is going to do the same thing and you will get to see the damage that she does without the perks so 50 with the throwing knife and 60 with the spear once again if I throw the spear all the way back you get 81 and the knife don't even have to charge just click it 61 hold it for a second 65 so there you go that perk can help out if you want to uh, use either one of those throwing weapons you might want to consider getting that perk the next tip I have for you is slope roofs across your structure will stop people from being able to climb up your structure so if you want to hinder people from climbing into your base and you want like an open base or something like that you can easily put the slope roofs like this and stop them from climbing as you can see here I can't climb I can't jump to the outer part of it now if you have an edge piece you can see there I can climb around the edge of it there and if you catch the edge of it just right I actually don't need the wall you can sometimes glitch over and glitch on top of it that way but for the most part if you were to wrap your base like this with the slope roofs sloping upwards uh, you're going to completely stop anybody from climbing the side of your base or anywhere else you want to stop them from climbing the next tip I have for you is crew cannot be damaged straight on so if you look here right from the front cannot damage her at all I can throw pretty much whatever I want shoot her in the face shoot her with a bow throw spears nothing can't damage them and if you box them in like this they're pretty much invulnerable because you can't even hit them from the side I go like this see she doesn't take any damage however if you get in behind them and hit them or from the side and hit them they do take damage so you can pretty much make them invulnerable and make it so that if you're being attacked they have to destroy the cannon first or the walls if you do destroy the cannon of course they're going to come off of the cannon and they're not mounted this invulnerability towards the front only works when they are mounted so the next tip i have for you is you can use billboards to easily pin your tames if you're trying to tame a larger creature Smaller creatures can get underneath of them just like you can. However, larger creatures like this giraffe cannot. It's pretty easy if you're able to build in the location that you're trying to do the tame. You can set up something like this and then uh, Marine is going to kite the giraffe over. As you see, she can kite it right in there and then you can have someone else or yourself can just run up behind it like that and finish the pin and pin it right in there really quickly and easily billboards are super cheap you don't have to do some super complex taming trap now at this point you can just weaken it bullet and tame it rinse and repeat over and over again and the billboards will continue to hold it so with this next one this may be something some of you have run into and not quite figured out how to deal with yet when you go into your ship's chest or any other storage thing and you're already full on weight or almost full and you hit your you know a huge stack of something you can see it only puts so many in our inventory because we've maxed out our our weight so if we keep doing that you can see oh I can't I can't take any more now I'm in creative mode but it's still doing the same thing let me pop out a creative mode here so you can see now what my weight is and even even in or out of creative mode you still have this problem the easiest way to get around this is to just throw the items out and then you can do it again put them in your inventory pick up the ones to refresh them then go back into your inventory throw all of them out and then just repeat this over until you get all of the items out of your ship's chest or whatever other inventory you are in. Then you can pick them all back up off the ground and now you can do the super slow walk to where you are going. 
This actually leads into our next tip, which can help you move a lot faster. You're going to need a buddy for this one. Your buddy's going to need a spyglass and uh, you walk to where you're going. So then you have your buddy crouch behind you and hit you with a spyglass. You want to aim upwards towards the butt. I know it sounds funny, but it works. You get maximum lift and maximum uh, knockback if you're aiming up and at the butt, hits them further. You can just hit from directly behind, but you're not gonna get quite as far. That's what it looks like if they're not crouched. So they're still moving you, but not quite as effective as if they do the crouch and uh, look upwards at you. But yeah, it can help you move large loads of stuff relatively quickly. And the last tip I have for you is make sure you unmount your crew from your cannons and any other weapons. If you take a look here, we have a mounted crew that wants one gold every one hour. I have one here that's unmounted, wants it one gold every 1.6. If I go over and I unmount this one or unseat, you can see that now she wants one gold every 1.6 hours. So make sure you unmount your crew. It doesn't affect them when they are on the steering wheel or the sails. Take a look here, put her on the steering wheel, still every 1.6, unseat, and try to whistle her to the sails. And actually, sails this time, maybe? on there there we go so you can see every 1.6 so you can leave them on the sails and stuff just make sure you unmount them from cannon swivel turrets all that other stuff any any weapon mounted item that you have on your ship and also while they're unmounted they will when they're doing the sweeping animation they will be repairing your ship if you have the resources in your ship's chest however they only repair the planks they won't repair other stuff so if you have the ceiling pieces on your deck so where you have gaps like this you fill it in with ceiling that got damaged they won't repair it sails all that other stuff they don't do it they only repair the planks the outer hull of your ship all right before i wrap it up i want to give a big thank you to my awesome supporter and friend marine for helping me with this video that is going to wrap it up for this video if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible you all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew of patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.